Now it's telephone, telephone bay, telephone uh, telephone spot because uh, there is uh, one uh, bay, one whaler ship called the telephone. That's why the ship was called telephone. But this is Deception Island. Deception Island. All right. What is the name Deception Island. Uh, in uh, in French, in, it's not uh, it, it's called deception, but in English, the the the, the, the word is more like desolation uh. because you know of the. Of the of the weather too, like one week ago, we we did not uh, land land because the weather was awful. The snow was uh, was falling uh, like uh, in line in lines, mm. so it was uh. impossible to land. So uh, it's a very very uh, savage place. Yeah. Yeah, to uh, to getting down, you just. Follow my colleague oh, down there, and you can do a, a loop on the left and go back to the beach. Oh, perfect! No, uh, actually, if we go. <laughs> All the time you come here, it's always grey, it's always dark. I like it too. It's really magic. Yeah. Uh, the, this place has a specific beauty, different from any other place I know in this Antarctica region. You know, the fact that it's volcanic, you know, so when you have no snow, everything is like this, or brownish, black, and grey sky, rain, you know kind of murky atmosphere, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, wow. And when you go on the other side, uh, no, over there actually, where you have the village of the fishermen and the whalers, you know, it's a ghost town. Yeah. It's a ghost town. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Uh, it's a ghost town, you know, with the cemetery yeah. with three <laughs> rays like remaining. Yeah. There was a full cemetery, but oh. at the last eruption in 1969, yeah. it partly covered. Oh. Yeah, it probably covers the, the cemetery, so only three graves well, the remain. Won't be coming out of there. Okay. Huh? The Today? Zombies. No, the zombies. Well, when things start to shake a bit, <laughs> then you should rush. <laughs> but it's active because over there you have smoke coming out from the soil, you know? Yeah. You, you see? And when you touch, it's warm, huh? Actually, uh, one time we came here and the doc, the doc took his boots away and where he was walking along the water. <laughs> it was warm, you know, so you can do that, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is really special. But you know, I mean, all this part of Antarctica here, and where we went on the continent, you know, this is volcanic. You know, you have... Uh, uh, following the Andes. Following the Andes, oh, right. Cool. You know, the Andes was really volcanic. I mean, I mean, from North America as well, Central America, yeah, Japan, and all this stuff. You know, the cool. fire belt, and it continues in the ending. You have the Erebus volcano, which is really active in Antarctica. It's really active one huh, with lava and stuff. And uh, I forgot the real figure, but I think it's around hundreds of volcanoes who are around here. This is one of them, and it's mm -hmm. active. It's quiet and active, you know, and some are like just nothing else, you know, just uh, uh, quiet and probably they will remain like this for thousands of I years. I just felt something crazy. Exactly. Hello. Good morning. I just felt something. You feel shaking? Yes. I guess. Okay. I did. Okay, well. It was, okay, well, it was the cheese. It was, it was the cheese I ate earlier. It was Joe. <laughs> so, if you duck with us in case of eruption. <laughs> Let me push you back just a couple feet. Okay. Here you get one with my phone.